guys, welcome back. Today, I just wanted, to, I really just wanted to do a quick little video on a project that we did. I'm shooting some videos in the shop, and one of my big annoyances in the studio is that we go through lav microphones, and every lav microphone seems to have a different outer diameter. The other thing is, all the lav microphone clips that clip to the shirt right here have different inner diameters. So I've resorted to everything from little strings of tape to like just taping it on and a lot of different ways to get the different microphones to work. And today I said, no, screw that. Let's, let's make something, let's make a permanent fix because I got a bunch of these little cheap clips and they're all the same. And I've got these microphones and we have 3D printers. We're a 3D printing company and we have CAD designers. Let's go. Okay, so all we really needed to do was to measure the outside of the microphone and make a sleeve to go over so that the clip could go onto it. Now this is such a small part that I knew it could be printed in like two minutes uh, out of any material because it doesn't need super high temp or super high strength. It's literally just a little sizing thing. So I said, hey Dan, let's go. Let's do this. I need a small little sleeve to put over this microphone. Now you can see the way the microphone goes together is you've got the little the wind sock here and then it's just a cylinder like this. So I'll take this off. And basically all we had to do and you could do this in any CAD program. We just measured the outer diameter of the mic, and then we measured the inner diameter of the clip holder. And then he made a sleeve matching the inner and outer diameter, and you could do that in Tinkercad, you could do that in SolidWorks, you could do that in Fusion, literally anything to make a 3D model, you could do that in. We don't even have to get into 3D scanning this because it's so simple, it's, it's a circle. It's a cylinder with a hole in the middle of it. That's all you need. So we did that, and in under 30 minutes, we went through three iterations we made, he made the first one and it was a little bit too big on the inside. So it was like loose on the mic. And they made a second one and it was a little bit too small for the actual clip. And then we made a third one and we nailed both dimensions. Now this can change because the, depending on the material you use, some materials have different expansion rates and, and like when you extrude it, it'll be a little bit oversized, a little bit undersized. So we just use PLA uh, for this on one of our basic machines in the back. We just use workhorses sometimes for basic parts. And <laughs> from the moment I told him to do it, this is like, this is like 45 minutes ago. Within 30 minutes, he had gone through three renditions and I now have a perfectly fitting sleeve for the microphone. Fits right over like that. Okay. And then I can put the windsock back on. And then I put the clip on there. So for the rest of the videos I filmed today, I have a lav mic that is secure and fits and I don't have to wrap tape around it or put glue on it or do anything weird. It just works and it costs nothing. It took almost no time and it's a permanent solution. So 3D printing and 3D scanning, there's so many things you can do even with simple programs. I'm not a huge CAD guy myself. I'm learning a lot of different things about it and learning how to use the software, but even something like Tinkercad, I've created tons of different small objects just for functional uses throughout the office. You know, for example, over here, this little SD card reader or card holder. We hold the different SD cards that we film stuff on uh, out of the different cameras and it's just, it's just a way to organize things and keep them nicely, you know, sectioned off. Look at all these things up here and you can make them in any material you want, but these are pegboard, um, pegboard holders. So like these, I actually printed these like three and a half years ago and we still got them, they're still going. And you can just do any shape or design that you want. A little box, you want a little thing like that? Great. Um, you know, this YouTube subscribe and that little, you know, play button, 3D printed. Hey Cole, you got any, uh, you got any stuff over there? You're using this like little cool functional prints you made just because you could? Oh yeah, I pulled all my business cards in this wallet. What? Tight. No way, like, oh. Yeah, it's like a business card holder. It's like a money clip wallet thing. 
random, you know, but you need a function, you need something, you can design it or make it or find it on online for free and have a really cool thing chunked out in almost no time at all. Uh, 3D printing, 3D scanning, CAD design, it's amazing how it can just amplify your life and give you the tools to create new stuff, let alone the business side of things. And that's what we specialize in here at Vision Miner. You got another one over there? Yeah. Oh. This is actually super oh yeah, this is this is something I made a few months back. I use PCTG because it's clear, so I can see the colors, and it's an Expo pen holder. I sized it just right for um, what is this eight? 12 Expo markers, got some highlighters in there too, and it's got a whole lid that we can put on there. But I needed something to store them in that wasn't a flimsy little fold together box that they came in. And this has been around, you know, thrown around for quite a while now. And it's just handy dandy. It's just awesome. And it's clear, you have so many options. In business, so let me get into the business aspect of it. Because what we specialize in here at Vision Miner is high temperature industrial 3D printer materials and printers and 3D be scanning like these things over here. Now, we serve businesses. 99% of our customers are, uh, you know, everything from small job shops, uh, fabrication shops, to giant medical companies and oil and gas companies and aerospace and, and all these guys. And it's advanced materials, metal replacement polymers is really our bread and butter since we were, since we started. That was our whole thing actually. Now we've expanded and we have other types of printing technology. We have other types of, you know, additive manufacturing related technology, a la 3D scanners. And just the techniques and the experience we consult, we basically help people get into 3D printing and use it in their business in a way that will make them money. So you're gonna buy a machine, but then that machine is gonna pay for itself over time. Sometimes in a week, sometimes in a month, sometimes in a year, sometimes they're just doing it for fun, like my good buddy Jeff, who's making RC jet engines in his garage. He's a retired engineer, he's doing amazing stuff. But then you've also got other big companies that are doing in, vit in vitro fertilization vials that are going into cryo chambers full of liquid nitrogen. Then you've got nuclear reactors and you've got aerospace parts and rocket nozzles in Tegza. If you want us to print some stuff, hit us up. Um, and it's just incredible how many different industries, how many different applications 3D printing is being used for. And there's multiple technologies, so there's multiple ways to do it. And it's just, it's amazing. So if you're interested in getting into 3D printing, whether it's for yourself or for your business or for your large industry application, we're here to help. We've got a lot of different experience. I've got you know, engineers like Cole and Dan and Jay ready to answer your phone calls and we'll help you determine what the right thing is for your application, even if we don't sell it. I'm not gonna sell you something that you don't need or want to use because I wanna sleep well at night and I want positive reviews. So. That being said, just keeping this video you know, pretty short. I hope you guys got something out of this. Um, hit that like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment down below if you've got any questions or suggestions. Uh, we're constantly making more content and more videos for you guys to just <clears throat> get more ideas and understand the industry better and hopefully expand the entire industry and the abilities of everyone. We've got a really cool new printer coming out, the 22 IDEX. Definitely check that out. A lot more videos and announcements coming very soon. We've got tons of videos on 3D scanners, 3D printing in general, and a plethora of other things. So if you've got any questions, hit us up, give us a phone call or shoot us an email. We are here to help and we love what we do and we love hearing from you guys. So with that, thank you so much for watching. Have a positive rest of your day and I'll see you on the next video.